man? How you doing, bro? Good. Good, man. Good. So, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit because I know we're like-minded. We've talked before. I know you're sober. Um, I know you're crazy about fitness, and, and this is something that we can both relate to. So, I right. wanted to get on here and just kind of bounce, bounce back and forth, man. Um, a couple questions to start. So, first, how much sober time do you have? So, about five years, um, almost the exact same time as you, actually. I saw that when you posted on Instagram and that's what you and sort of went from there. Dope, oh, man, dope. So, uh, I wanted to do this video regarding how sobriety relates to fitness, right? So, sure. a lot of people get sober, they have their ways. A lot of people um, follow the AA, the NA way, which is awesome, whatever works for you. That never would necessarily work for me. The gym is what worked for me, and I know we've talked, and same thing for you. Um, it, the gym was uh, actually came later for me. Um, for me, starting out, it was a lot of just make it another week. I gave myself little little goals to get to. So you weren't motivated when you first got when sober. I, you weren't motivated. Fitness um, was. I didn't really have fitness in my life at that point. Um, that was something that actually came a little bit later on. So this is 2017. Um, it was. I don't think I joined the gym for another two years after that. Yeah. So I was working out at home mainly, um, not doing, knowing what I was doing really, but just getting some some sort of fitness or cardio or whatever I could oh, in every right. day. Okay, so our, store, our, our start offs were right. different then for sure. sure. When I got sober, I had, I, did, I had no idea how to do anything else but just go kill myself right. in the gym. And I look at you in the gym now and, and I see that's what you do. Yeah. You go, <laughs> you go hard, you know what I mean? So. When I first found out you were sober, and I saw the way you train in the gym, I was like, I gotta talk to this guy. I mean, I have a very all or nothing, which is good and bad, all or nothing mentality. Yeah. Um, and that's helped a lot in the gym. It also is a big reason why uh, I'm an addict and I drank for however many years. Yeah. Night. So it was it was one way or the other, and luckily it eventually came to this way. Yeah. So. Yeah, right. So let's backtrack. Let's talk about how your initial breaking point. What made you get sober? Sure. So leading up to it, um, I never really drank much until I was in college, and it just slowly increased after I graduated. Didn't know what else to do. Worked a lot of night shifts, and once I was in grad school, of all places, um, is when it really, I would say it was pretty much every night. I was doing a lot of work while drinking, a lot of, not work work, but like school work while drinking. Right. Um, and then Thanksgiving, night before Thanksgiving, um, got really drunk. So it happened in college, that's when you really developed the, the addiction? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, it really started... Not really before, not high school? Oh no, I didn't drink until I was 19, 20. Okay. Um, and then it just very quickly progressed from there, yeah. um, unfortunately. Um, but when I was in grad school, um, it sort of took on... I was, I was pretty much away from everybody that I knew from undergrad because I went back a little bit later. Um, and then Thanksgiving 2007, no, yeah, 2017, um, got really drunk, felt terrible the next day uh, on Thanksgiving, which at that point was sort of a... 2017? Yeah. That's crazy, that's yeah. what I got so... Yeah. November 2017. It was literally, I saw on your page, it was literally within like a couple couple yeah. weeks of when I, you were... See, you know, I don't really remember my exact day, I was incarcerated. So I, I just remember it was November because I broke my arm, mm -hmm. and I remember that's when... Uh, they gave me the pain, it was like around that time period when I was getting surgery and I had the painkillers and I remember telling the doctor, cut them off, I right. don't want them anymore. So I just knew it was November 2017, I don't even have my exact date anyway. I mean, I remember like the beer I was drinking and everything because that was like oh, the last shit. beer yeah. that I had and it was like, okay, I'm going to give myself, you know, I knew I had finals coming up, I'll wait till after finals, I'll, I'll give it three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks was the longest I've gone without drinking in four years. Or right. So at that point I was like, okay, if I can do that, I can do until like the hardest time of year for people to stop drinking if I can make it through Christmas. Do you have anybody like supporting you? Um, any, nobody knew I was doing it. I just said I was taking a break from drinking. Okay. Um, I had decided I was done, um, which I didn't want to. I didn't want to say I was done because I felt like I was going to relapse really quickly. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want that to be. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah. Drinking, yeah. drinking again. But I made it to that. You know, two weeks, four weeks, and once I got to January, it was like okay, I made it through. All the holidays, like all the big days where people are going back and drinking again. Right. Yeah. And this is when people, yeah. yeah, people, you know, they do dry January. Like, okay, I'm a month and a half in already. Yeah. Um, and from that point, it was good up until a year, which was probably the most difficult was reaching that one year point. Um, 
but since then it's been, I want to say easy. But so you didn't relapse though? No. Okay, when you um, say it was the most difficult, you still didn't go back? No. Um, that was the most I wanted to though. So um, what were you doing? So what were you doing to help you? <laughs> you weren't in the gym yet. What were you no, doing? No, I'm trying to even think what I was doing. So I made it through, honestly, it was focused on grad school work, which was taking it's his own. That had to have been a lonely life though, man. You know what I mean? It, 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 not it, having your drug of choice and your alcohol and then just like grinding in schoolwork and stuff? Um, yeah. It was in a lot of ways. Um, I, I did a lot of um, caffeine. <laughs> my caffeine. That was like the main. I mean, obviously now it's it's still a big part of my life. Which yeah, is probably sure. my biggest replacement for everything. Whatever. Man. Yeah, if I that's mean, the worst we're doing. Exactly. Um, and that's sort of where you know I started not necessarily focus on grad school so much. Yeah. Um, ended up leaving grad school because I realized I wasn't that wasn't what I wanted to do. Right. Um, and I think I knew that from the start, but I didn't know what else there was. Um, so at that point, I moved back home, um, started working. I worked in food service a lot before that, worked in food service again. That's a rough time um, sober, man. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, late a, night food service? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's terrible. That's like I'm the, a bartender. I'm a sober bartender. It's not bad anymore. Yeah. Man. Starting off, and people don't know, it's, it's you want to participate. You want to be yeah. part of that. Everybody culture. in there does yeah. drink and do drugs. Yeah. So like, um, Fortunately for me, I was working at Bush Gardens, which is a lot of younger kids, so it's not okay. so much of a, okay, okay. As a push in that typical. direction. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely that environment um, from 2018, 2019-ish, um, and then COVID, obviously, I wasn't really doing anything. I was pretty much at home um, with family for a year and a half. Um, during that time, I tried going back to the gym. I um, actually got a trainer up at... Um, Another, I'm not gonna say the name. Another gym up in Williamsburg yeah. for a while. Um, that didn't quite work out, but I knew that's the direction I wanted to start going. In. Yeah. Um, what the gym life? So yeah. Because so that's like I decided like this is what if I'm gonna go to the gym, I need to have that. Did you play sports in high school or anything? Um, I swam um, from the time I was four until I was 18. Okay. Um, but I didn't consider myself um, an athlete. Okay. So I just it's sort of strange because I was. Captain of the swim team, I was I made it to regionals three times, I went to stage one. But that wasn't my mindset. I was always I always considered myself like the uh, like the student, like the, the so quote unquote smart kid yeah. that was gonna go to college and do this and that and go to grad school because that's what I had prepared myself. That's what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Um, but I never considered myself like swimming was just a something I did. Yeah. Um, looking back, you know, I could bend myself to that, even though I was at that time I weighed 270, 280. Um, when you were swimming? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was. I rough. gotta see videos. Oh, uh, but I you were a captain and you were. I was regionals at 270 pounds. And it was not a built 270 either. It was a very like 35. So it's possible to be a good swimmer at that weight. Though. Oh yeah. That's. I mean, that's my legs are pretty much what kept me going. But holy shit! Yeah. I barely know how to. Swim. I mean, I know how to swim, but I, my rhythm is like. I mean, at this point, it's been about a decade for me, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably come back pretty quickly, but um, it's definitely something that you get used to, I guess, after a while. Yeah. You know, too many four years old. Um, but, yeah, I just, like you said, I put my put everything into it. Um, and if I had focused more on my actual overall fitness, I could have, well, that's ifs, ands, or buts, but I could have been, you know, probably swimming in college or something. But. So a few years into your sobriety, you found weightlifting, fitness and it kind of like so is that your main like on a daily basis what's is that how important is that to you um that's probably outside of you know my regular work schedule making sure i have money coming in that's the number one thing that i try to schedule into my day. number one, um, number one yeah. yeah first thing that comes to your mind right like yeah where am i going to get my workout in right. what am i going to do for my workout? And it's, it's such a weird transition for me because thinking about honestly most days it's the most enjoyable part of my day yeah, yeah. and it's such a from going from a year or two ago even thinking about that to that being my main focus i still it's it's a very it was a very quick transition yeah um for me and i'm glad it's one that i made um especially with the environment i never considered like i said never considered myself like a gym person right um so finding myself um like from last november to now even has been just a difference mentally for me um, and how I approach things, especially with not, I mean, I know I said I struggled with, you know, addiction and, and 
maybe having that sort of temptation the first year, but it hasn't even been on my mind okay. um, since I've been going to school. So, so it was on, you, you, you got sober before fitness came in, but now, does it, like, do you think if you never, never found fitness, you never got in the gym, were, were times harder before than they are now, now that you've been in the gym and you found this new, like you said, you now you really have something deep inside you that, that, that drives you. Did you have something as deep before fitness? Oh, no. Okay. Um, I was a lot of going through the motions, just getting to okay. the next thing. That's what I'm asking. And yeah. that's, yeah. It was, you know, I'd go to work whatever job I had at the time. No yeah, um, real sense of, like, purpose. Like, I would come home and pretty much just stay in my room or my house until waking up the next day. Weekends, finding whatever to do until the next day, until the weekend was over, saying, didn't do anything this weekend. That's strong. That's powerful, man. For yeah. you to be able to muster up the strength, bro. Like, I, I don't. I, I had a head start. I was in prison, so I would. I had already gotten sober in there. So by the time I got out, I had a head start, and I was like, "Fuck it, I've been this long. Let's just keep it going." Yeah. But I had to work out immediately. I was like, "Jim, Jim, Jim." I don't know what I. Would. So like, for you to just still stay sober through the weekends without, that's a, that's that's amazing, man. That's that's like some mind. That. Yeah. That's. Powerful stuff. I mean, for me, like I said, like after I made those first, after I made it through that December, I said, if I'm going to make it through, if I'm going to do this, make it through the holidays, that first month and a half, then why can't I make it through the rest of the year? Because I knew Thanksgiving and Christmas are the two big ones, well, New Year's, but Thanksgiving and Christmas were the two I was most likely to relapse and start drinking again. Yeah. And after I made it past that, I made my mind up. So it was just moving forward and doing more and making myself better from that point on. So. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome, man. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else to let the people know, man. Any, any advice that we could give to them? Um, I'll say one thing your sister said in, her, in your video you guys did was finding your new routine. Because for me, that was my routine, was drinking every night and recognizing when, when I was doing it. Because I, I mean, I'm presuming most people drink at night, but... For me, I knew exactly the time I would get home. I knew when I was drinking and when I was stopping because I had work the next day. Yeah. And I've channeled that into, I work out a little bit before, I go to the gym a little bit before that time, but it's generally the same time frame. Yeah. And by the time I get home, I'm so exhausted, I can't even, it's not even on my mind. Yeah, you're Like, I want to eat, I want to shower, I want to go to bed. So find so, a new routine. Yeah. Find the joy in it. Yeah. Let's go. Chris. All right, man. I appreciate it, bro. Absolutely. Let's continue to grind, man. All right.